day, Chess and everyone. Welcome to Batan Academy in National School Guidance TV, the official YouTube channel of our school, Batan Academy in National School. Once again, this is Sir Jose Prade Al Francisco Jr., your guidance counselor at Batan Academy in National School. Mental health, as defined by the World Health Organization, is a state of well-being in which the individual realizes his or her own abilities, can cope with the normal stresses of life, can work productively and thoughtfully, and is able to make a contribution to his or her community. Why is mental health important? Mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel, and how. It also helps determine how we handle stress, relate to others, and make healthy choices. Mental health is important to every stage of life, from childhood and adolescence through adulthood. Why is mental health important to students? There is a clear connection between mental health and academic performance. Helping students make the most of their education is everyone's goal. Students struggling with depression or mental illnesses have a harder time feeling motivated, learning, concentrating, taking tests, etc. Therefore, mental health awareness is essential to all of us. What is the importance of mental health awareness? Mental health awareness increases the chances for early intervention. This can result in a fast recovery. Awareness reduces negative adjectives that have been said to describe all people with a mental illness. By raising awareness, mental health can now be seen as an illness. These illnesses can be managed by treatment. Today, our topic regarding mental health is important. Everyone is invited to watch this video. Good luck and happy joy. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk About It with the Psych Hub team. Today, I'm so excited to be joined by Dr. Elizabeth McMahon. She is an expert in treating anxiety. She's a licensed clinical psychologist and has a private practice in San Francisco. And she's also the author of an anxiety self-help workbook called Overcoming Anxiety and Panic Interactive Guide. Welcome, Dr. McMahon. Thank you, Dr. Lassen. I'm so pleased to be here to talk about anxiety. It's such an important topic. Anxiety really is a very important mental health topic, and it's a very common mental health problem in the world. In 2020 in particular, research is showing that it's impacting young adults and adolescents more than ever. However, anxiety is really not well understood there's common misconceptions about what it is and what it feels like and what treatment for anxiety looks like. Today, we're going to talk about why people get anxiety. So Dr. McMahon, can you tell us why, why do people get anxious? Well, we get anxious because it's supposed to serve a very important purpose. We should be anxious or fearful if we're in a dangerous situation. That's its, that's its goal. That's its life-saving purpose. The only problem is that the part of the brain that triggers this life-saving protective response to threat is left over from a time when we were surrounded by predators, when our ancestors were threatened on all sides. And so we have a very primitive part of the brain that's alert to danger and threat and that responds by preparing us to survive by running or fighting. Now, the good news is that our world has changed and most of the time we're not facing poisonous snakes or lions or people coming after us with spears. Unfortunately, our brain has not changed. And the part of the brain that reacts to threat reacts the same way, the same physical way to a physical danger and to a financial danger. It can react to threats that are just imagined 
as well as those that are real. It can react to things that we remember and things that are actually present. So what happens is that we have a a protective bodyguard part of the brain that's very primitive, that's always looking out for our safety, that's always on the alert for danger, but that just reacts without thinking. And so as a result, it can send false alarms. And that's when anxiety causes a problem. So Liz, it sounds like what you're saying is that anxiety is normal, that it's a normal part of life. Anxiety is a normal part of life. And when it causes a problem is when this part of the brain triggers anxiety when it's not needed or triggers it more intensely or more often. It's like having the smoke alarm in your house that's so sensitive it goes off every time you burn the toast or every time you make popcorn in the microwave. And if you don't understand that it's a false alarm, you're going to be calling the fire department and running screaming out of your house a lot more often than you have to. So what kind of things can trigger anxiety? That is a really good question. In the absence of actual danger and threat, five things can cause this life-saving protective reaction to misfire, to go off when you don't need it. The first one is genetics, the kind of temperament and nervous system that you were born with. Anxiety can run in families. It's as though some of us have nervous systems that are like sports cars and react very quickly. And others of us maybe have nervous systems that are more like a delivery van and kind of don't respond so quickly. The second thing that can trigger a, a misfiring of anxiety are certain chemicals. Alcohol can make anxiety more likely over the next 24 to 48 hours after you've been drinking, particularly if you've been drinking heavily. Marijuana, particularly marijuana edibles, where it's hard to measure your dose, can trigger it. Certain medications or medical issues can make anxiety more likely. The third factor is stress. If you're just more stressed, you're more likely to have anxiety go off, even if you're not in danger. And then The fourth factor is how you talk to yourself. Do you tend to be negative, harsh, critical, demanding? Do you want perfection? Do you hate to make any kind of mistake? Well, that's going to make life kind of like walking on a tightrope. It's going to make anxiety much more likely and it's going to make stress much more anxiety producing. And the final factor that can cause anxiety to misfire is what has happened to you in the past and the lessons that your reacting brain learned from that. So if you were humiliated by a teacher in middle school, your brain may remember that and make you anxious, even if you're just going on a date or you're just going to present to your colleagues at work. Any of these five triggers, genetics, chemicals, external stress, how you talk to yourself, and lessons that the brain learned from past events can interact and send a message of threat, threat you're not going to be able to handle the stress. Threat, you're not going to be able to live up to your self-demands. Threat, something bad's going to happen like happened before, like you saw happen to somebody else. And the brain that reacts to threat doesn't think, it doesn't evaluate, it just reacts. And it automatically prepares you to run or fight, creating anxiety that can be a problem. Thank you, Dr. McMahon, for explaining those five things that can trigger anxiety. I'm sure that everyone has at least one of those triggers in their lives from time to time. So it's really important that everyone understands that anxiety is normal and a reaction to those triggers. Thank you learners for watching this video. Hopefully it raises your awareness on mental health. Our appreciation to the rightful owner of this animated video on mental health. Thank you so much for your videos in YouTube. That's all for all now. And if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, please do it now. So that you will be updated with our latest videos. Once again, this is your Sir Jose Freddy and Francisco Jr., your guidance counselor, saying thank you so much for watching this video. More videos will be coming out to help you our dear learners. 
please watch out in our YouTube channel, Bata Academy Guidance TV. Thank you, Dr. McMahon, for joining us today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Lassen, for Thank having you, me. Everyone. I'm so glad to be here and be talking about anxiety because the good news is anxiety is very treatable.